Hello and welcome to PureTech. Uh, today we are demonstrating uh, the PureTech dome synchronization with a Mead LX600 telescope. Um, basically, uh, we are running the SkyX Pro software. We have our dome connected to our laptop and we also have the telescope connected to our laptop. Uh, so this dome here is a 14 and a half foot walk-in dome with the uh, front doors open and the shutter partially open up on top. Uh, I'm going to walk into the dome now to demonstrate this. Um, once again here we have the Mead LX600 uh, 12 inch. Uh, we have our dome controller here and our laptop running the SkyX Pro uh, software. We have a USB cable going from the uh, telescope here at the RS-232 port uh, going to the laptop. And then we have a cable, uh, USB cable also going from our controller uh, to the laptop. So both, uh, both uh, units are connected to the, um, to the laptop. The SkyX software is running. Um, here we have uh, on the screen the uh, black dark area which represents our shutter uh, opening. Uh, we have uh, the yellow dot which shows where the telescope is currently pointing. And the red dot is, uh, is just, a, uh, uh, just a position that I can pick anywhere. I can pick any star and that, that dot will move to that star. So, similar like this. Um, so if I pick, uh, let me make that a little smaller. If I pick, uh, say, a star here, um, you will see that yellow dot, which represents a telescope, move to that red dot. And you'll also see that dark area uh, start to rotate uh, until those two dots are in position over each other and the dots are in the center of the black area which will represent the telescope centered inside the uh, shutter opening. So what happened there was uh, the dome just made a correction on its own because it's still following the telescope from uh, my last uh, position. So if I pick that and I say, uh, I go up here and say slew. It'll ask me if I for sure want to move to that position because it will cause movement of the dome and the telescope. Uh, so if I say yes, you will see the telescope move to the position and then you will see the dome uh, rotate until that, that black area is on center with the two dots. So now you have the two dots over each other. That means that the telescope's at position at the target that I picked, and the dome is rotating to that position also. And once at that position, the dome will automatically stop, which it just did. So here we have the, uh, the two dots in the center of the shutter, represented by the uh, telescope here, which is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's in the center of the shutter, pointing at the target. And now that this situation is happening here with the telescope on target, as the target in the sky moves, you know, the star uh, moves uh, in the sky from, uh, from south, uh, from the south to the west uh, uh, trajectory. Um, this, you'll see that on the screen, it'll, it'll move slightly and then the dome will automatically make the correction. So basically you can leave the dome and the telescope on the target through the night and the dome will follow the target automatically. If you have any questions uh, regarding this application, feel free to contact PureTech.
uh, whether uh, you wanna, you're interested in our dome or if you just want the uh, automation system that we can also adapt to your dome. Thank you.